Is it time to start circling back to some of the high-flying speculative health care stocks that have been obliterated in recent months, including today, thanks to the rotation out of fast-growing biotech and medical technology plays? At a certain point, some of these once-loved, now-hated companies will start to represent pretty attractive values. Take MyMedics, that's MDXG for you home gamers, small-cap companies focused on developing regenerative biomaterials. In other words, MyMedics takes donated human placenta tissue and turns it into skin grafts that can help the body recover from all sorts of wounds, uh, resulting from, say, diabetes, military injuries, surgical incisions, burns, even cancer. The company has found that wounds heal 60% faster when doctors use the pl their placenta-based skin grafts. Now, MyMedics already has a number of products on the market, and they're constantly expanding the new applications, treating different kinds of surgeries and wounds. But altogether, management believes they could have a $16 billion total addressable market, which is enormous. It's an only $950 million company. However, after rocketing higher for multiple years, the stock peaked at around 13 in July. Since then, it's been slammed, falling nearly 30% from its peak uh, to $8.88.89 as of today. Now, a, lot, a lot of the weakness is simply because the whole high high-flying, fast growing medical technology cohort suddenly went out of style on the Wall Street fashion show. Over the, yeah, it just happened over the summer. But then my medics got hit with another leg down, falling 14% in single session on Tuesday of last week after the company gave what many investors considered disappointing revenue guidance for the fourth quarter. Even as the third quarter results were quite robust, 49% sales growth, the company also announced a buyback uh, boost from $10 million to $40 million. Has my medics been pun punished enough? I mean, what's going on here? After all, the company's actually profitable, trading 39 times next year's earnings, which is not that expensive when you consider its explosive growth. So let's dig deeper with Pete Petit. He's the chairman and CEO of MyMedics. Find out more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Petit, welcome to Mad Money. Have a seat, sir. Thank you, Jim. All right, so your first time on our show, so we got a unique proposition. Can you describe what the placenta is, what it looks like, where it's from, and why it's working? Well, first of all, it's not a very attractive-looking organ. Okay. It's the afterbirth, and it right. generally over the decades it's been thrown away. It's, it's medical waste, and the system has to pay for medical waste. We found a way some almost 10 years ago to take that placenta, strip the amniotic membrane out of it, mm -hmm. process that in a special way. What comes out at the other end is a, something that looks like a piece of wax paper, which is filled with several hundred growth factors and cytokines that are very productive. And These are stem cells from the placenta that women have agreed to give away. The centers are they're, they're given away uh, in a, uh, th to, through the hospital as a gift. You can't pay for placentas uh, or, or donated organs. And uh, our, our staff is there to collect the organs and put them in a special fluid and bring them back. And, and what do they look like? I think you've got some. Well, I've got one sample here. This is one of the larger graphs. It looks like a piece of wax paper. But it's... Um, this it, is it? That's it. It's five-year shelf life, and in that graph this is about... Is you, this is actual tissue. That is human amniotic membrane that comes from the placenta, run through a very special process that's patented, and, and when it comes out the other end, there's about 200-plus proteins in here that uh, are basically the same proteins that are in the placenta before we process it. And what would you be using without before this? There or was, what people are still using if they don't know about it. Well, correct. There was a... A couple of products that were on the market for about 10 years that we used in advanced wound care that were, were uh, bioengineered products. They were very expensive, mm -hmm. one size. Our product line comes in sizes from as small as your fingernail uh, to larger sizes for burns. So we cover the gamut in terms of, of uh, product sizes, but our products have proven to be very much uh, more cl uh, clinically effective than other products out there. They close wounds a lot faster, two or three times faster. And they're very cost effective because of size difference. So military's been using it. Military's been using it. Uh, VA hospitals are with us a preferred product in VA hospitals. And uh, around the country, we've become the, the uh, industry leader in the advanced wound care area. Covered by insurance? Covered by all, about 85% of the commercial plans, all Medicare and, and uh, 31 state Medicaid. Okay, I am told that this can be used far on many, many more parts of the body than it's currently being used. What's the rollout? That's correct. We have spent the last four years putting our position in place in terms of uh, the dominant player in advanced wound care. But the product over the last couple of years has been finding its way into surgical procedures. For instance, okay. um, um, procedures uh, by plastic surgeons, mm -hmm. uh, 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 most surgery on the face, cancer, where scar tissue reduction is, is foremost and a key issue. A lot of plastic surgeons, a lot of general surgery. Um, uh, procedures that, um, abdominal procedures where uh, adherence to the, to the abdominal wall is a key issue and that causes uh, 
pain, et cetera, those kinds of spine surgeries. Now, when the stock got hit, I mean, you, you announced this expanded buyback. You have cash. You actually are earning money. Good chance to be able for your company to pick some stock up. We've done that, and we've done that from time to time. And I think we probably disappointed because we were talking strategic matters in terms of new products. Right. And uh, they were focused on, well, tell us about fourth quarter. Well, well, I hear you. We've That's... got 16 straight quarters of beating or exceeding revenue growth. But welcome to the uh, new Wall world of trying to figure out what's going to happen tomorrow, exactly. not the next 10 exactly. years. Exactly. Right. That's Pete Petit. He's the chairman and CEO of MyMedics Group, MDXG. i got to tell you, it's a pretty exciting company. I'm just stick with Kramer.